A very special day today in the studio, guys, as I get to unveil my BRX-01 from Boom Racing. As you can see, this is a one-tenth scale four-wheel drive radio control chassis that I've been building in the studio. Today, I get to assemble the Toyota Land Cruiser LC70, but you guys won't be doing that with me. I've already built this same killer body, uh, LC70, when I made the Toy Boda. And I'll leave a link in the video description box down below in case you guys want to check out the complete quick build build video that I did on it. But I did go ahead and paint everything off camera. It took me four days and in homage to Boom Racing for their great job on this kit, I went and made it into a beautiful race truck. Look at the paint on here. Look at right in the light. It is an electric racing blue. Much like the box. I want to complete the vision. Look at this front and back. Multiple days of light sprays. Did not want to get any runs anywhere all over this Land Cruiser and give it a small accent. Look at this. This is gunmetal. This is TS38 for the gunmetal, in case you guys want to replicate this when you're doing your own. And then the racing blue is TS51. So four cans of this I used. Can you believe that? Four cans. Only a single can, of course, of the uh, accent. Because I did that for the headache rack on the back. Front, back, left, right, all over. You want to make sure to cover everything on multiple layers, but make sure to let it dry in between, or else you'll get the, the drips, and you don't want to have that, right? So everything here, all the accents were painted gunmetal, uh, and the body itself, the racing blue. The doors and the tailgate, everything worked out perfect, and I'm looking forward to uh, getting this together. So I'm going to assemble this off camera very quickly. Uh, I want you guys to uh, focus on the uh, quick release mechanism that I'm going to install right here, because if you look on the back, some of you guys thought I was installing this wrong, but it's actually a hinge. This is a hinge for the body to actually flip up and uh, Boom Racing has invented or uh, come up with a quick release method for this on the front. So I want to get that done and we might as well see what it looks like in three, two, one, boom, there it is. What do you think? The color turned out phenomenal. Uh, it looks almost identical to the box. There it is, Boom Racing BRX01. Went through and painted all of the chrome accents right into the gunmetal so we had it flow throughout the vehicle. One big painting fail for sure, guys. I did not paint all of the... Uh, all of the truck as one body so I do have one layer issue it looks like I missed this door here which I can take off and repaint again but didn't have time and I didn't have any paint for this build but regardless it still looks like I had a dent in the door and I replaced the door <laughs> it doesn't get more scale than that I guess but yeah all the chrome looking very good all the way around the vehicle same with this one so big lesson it was the body itself that got an extra layer and uh, I was so focused on not scratching it that the doors did not get the same layers. Even with the hood, if you look really close, you can kind of see it's a little bit more of a two-tone. Also, I don't have the uh, hood kit. I heard there's a hood kit to help open the hood so you can have a uh, look on the inside. Uh, so that's actually uh, closed. So are the doors. But you can see the headache rack on the back looking amazing i love how it looks just like the box same with the accents on the top rail and around to the lights now i do have a light kit on the inside but because my uh, um, because my um, uh, camera picks up so many frames a second it really causes a lot of flashing in the camera when it's solid uh, in full in, in full size i was going to say in real time that's the right way to say it but bringing it right around, this is one of the most amazing things about this kit. You'll see the top is kind of rattling around a little bit, and that's because I don't have the front installed yet. But look at this. It picks up on the hinge, just like I was mentioning. Just like that. What a beautiful way. And then comes down into what right now, this is stock. This is a pin system that it comes down onto right in here and would click into these areas but instead I want to do the quick release system which is just a couple of buttons uh, and we picked it up here uh, just to install so I think we should do that now.
Now, what am I talking about? Indeed, if you didn't see the first unboxing video, you wouldn't have seen this, but this is the tool-free aluminum quick-release latch uh, for this body, and I think that you're gonna like what you see. So here is what's in the package, pretty simple and straightforward, except you can see that this is actually a multiple piece, uh, and what I need to do is actually slide one apart. This is going to be going underneath this whole assembly. You can see how I undid that, just took that out. These pins are actually going to slide up underneath, if you guys can see properly here. If I can get some more light in here, Mr. Producer, that's me. <laughs> it's going to go up into this little cross frame piece where my finger is able to move here. And I figured instead of showing you the incredibly simply uh, simple install, I'd just kind of go over it. So look closely here, guys. There is a locking pin right here and another locking pin right here. Now generally this whole unit comes down and clips onto here without these two pins. This is what I've just installed. And, and you could go ahead and put two screws up on these uh, in these same holes where these angled pins are. But Boom Racing came out with this little thing. Look at this. Ta-da! It is a spring-loaded uh, unclipping latch. It's genius. There is a one long screw that goes from the bottom right through the center right up to here that has a spring in it plus one single grub screw on top. That grub screw just kind of prevents dirt from getting in, but there you go. So I can back up. Let's have a look at it here. Bring down this whole chassis. Make sure it's straight. And with one hand, I've noticed it's a bit of a challenge, but it does clasp if you have it lined up well. Or for me, two hands, push it down, latch it, problem solved. So now I can go out on the trail, no, no screws, no body posts, nothing like that. And if I need to, to get it, I just pull it, it pops open, and I can hinge this open. Is that genius or what? See there, it latched by itself. So other than a painting fail on this, which is my fault, uh, this whole vehicle is just absolutely stunning and beautiful. Which brings me to one last thing. Everybody wants me to take this out onto the trail right now, but being February when I'm doing this and I'm in Canada, it's the coldest month of the year for us, uh, tons of snow outside and below 20 uh, temperatures. The tire on here, even though it's absolutely gorgeous and stunning and everyone's like, why don't you leave things stock and test them? This isn't going to be the best tire for my terrain outside. So I do have some Boom Racing uh, Hustler tires. They are on the alternative rim, which is a white rim that I purchased beforehand. And I want to switch them out just to see how they look. That moment you're in the middle of your build video and you realize you forgot to put on the door handle. Uh, and then you need two hands because there's glue. <laughs> This MKS servo with the heat sink, uh, the aluminum heat sink on the outside through the grill looks like a radiator. Uh, going back through, I tried to keep all my wiring as clean as possible. And you'll see, even though I didn't use the uh, wire stays that are included in this build, uh, I did use a few zip ties. I did uh, cinch everything up and keep a lot of the wires uh, out of the way. And the keen folks that have been watching this build with me will notice that I actually have uh, switched out the electronic speed control uh, from the Tekken RX4 that I was using to the lower profile Hobbywing Quick Run Waterproof Crawler ESC. Now this ESC is programmable as well. It comes with this programming card. I got this on the Asia T's website uh, and it's very easy. It goes through the drag brake and the cutoff setting for the voltage and everything like that, uh, which makes it a great pairing with this Genzace uh, 4000 milliamp 3S battery that I have in here. Here. And one question I want to go over is somebody said, why are you using an XT60 plug here, uh, but an Ultra Plug Dean's connector for a quick release on this? Uh, Holmes Hobby brushed 12 turn motor and my answer was uh, I, uh, to you right now is it helps me easily identify even though the wires are coded there's no way to accidentally plug in um, this uh, uh, this into the ultra plug right so there's no way to accidentally uh, burn this out Ke keeping it easily identifiable for other people that might use this in the future as well uh, keeps it easy 
a lot of people asked as well, why the heck would I have a quick release attached to my motor? And that's so if I'm out on the trail or at a competition or anything like that and I have motor issues, I can already have a, another motor out pre-wired so I can just unbolt this, take it out, bolt in the other one and plug it into the ESC without having to solder it at all. So there's the answers on that. If you guys have any more questions, please put them in the uh, comments section down below and I'll do my best to answer them. Ba bam there we go look at this this is the chunky tire i am talking about needing for a truck like this in the terrain that i'm in now uh, this is the boom racing hustler mounted up on the same rim you can see just in uh, white more of a classic color kind of a sportier color that i was going to go for with the truck anyway and i know so many of you say why don't you ever run the stuff stock and i do it's just for right now i already have like enough experience to know that this tire will do better out in the winter tundra uh, than this tire which will do great on the rocks and on the trail in the springtime so uh, guys let me know what you think which one would your favorite tire be on the brx01 from boom racing and does this model uh, interest you is there enough innovation in this model to move you forward on a kit like this or does the price hold you back more information on this kit in the uh, video description box down below and comment your thoughts below i want to have a discussion about it. And until next time, guys, if it's too cold to go outside and have fun with RC, then stay inside and just build one. Bye for now.